Hey crew, it's Wednesday. Just loaded up the bikes. Getting ready to uh, head down to the ocean. Roll Dog's gonna do a swim. Such a beautiful day today. Amazing view. Kailua Kona, Wednesday. So we're uh, leaving Shea Lester. He lives up on a hill above Keho Bay, Look at pretty that. high up. We're like, how far up are we? Thousand. Thousand feet, so we got a nice view of the ocean from up here. We got a really clear, beautiful day. We're gonna show you a killer view right now down the end of my street. Come out here on a run, and we're just so blessed to be able to call Kailua Kona, Hawaii home. Uh, today we're gonna go to Rich Roll Dog's gonna go down and do a swim in the ocean and then we're gonna bounce out and we're gonna go to Waimea. But check this out. So here you can see that's the pier down there to the right, that's where the Iron Man start is. And that's basically downtown Kona. And uh, on a very clear, beautiful day, you could actually see Maui from here. And, and then uh, what do you say? I'm gonna check out the weather and see about going up into Waimea and climb the Kahalas today. Yep, we're gonna attack some hills. But we basically just packed up our whole house and uh, computers and everything because we're gonna actually go do work down in Waikoloa today. Check this out. So there you go. We headed down the hill towards the ocean. You can see the uh, downtown Kona down there. Big cruise ship coming in. There'll be a lot of uh, tourists walking around down Alihi, I would imagine. It's actually a thousand foot climb, so any anytime you finish a long bike ride, you've got a thousand feet at the end to climb up, so it's uh, pretty good training. All right, so thanks that's for it joining for now. us. We'll check in with you uh, a little bit later on. Peace out. Aloha. All right, Rich and Jason, we're up in Waikoloa, getting ready for a ride. We're gonna head out uh, up to Waimea, do some climbing. Got a beautiful day here today. Let's hope the weather holds up. The sky's here out on the lava fields. The sun is scorching. And uh, we're psyched. We can only get rolling. It takes forever to get all your stuff <laughs> ready to get like out on the bike. We've been like screwing around for what seems like forever. Anyway, we're heading out. We'll check in with you later. I'm in Waimea right now. About 18 minutes in. We do a 45 minute interval. We're at only 5% grade right now, but heart rate's 156. Working pretty hard. It's hot out here. We got a nice day. And uh, Jason's back there. Just checking in. Halfway through this climb. And, uh, Check in with you from the top. Nice there. All right, here we are. We're in Waimea. Beautiful Waimea. Just finished that climb. Check it out. Look at the green hills. Beautiful up here. Basically at uh, 2,500 feet up from the sea. About 45 minutes to get up here, and uh, just getting a uh, little fuel and uh, hydration. For Jason, and uh, gonna head back down and then climb up to uh, Javi. It's a uh, deal. Check it out soon. All right, so here I am at the bottom of uh, the climb up to Waimea. Climbed up all the way to the top. Um, a little bit into the climb, I kind of lost touch with Jason. I thought I would see him on the way down, but I didn't see him, and I'm having trouble getting a hold of him, so I don't know what to do. We were going to uh, go down this road into Kauai High and then climb up into Javi, but I think what I'm going to do is now uh, I'm going to climb back up to Waimea and hope that uh, I find Jason on the way up. Otherwise, uh, what I'm going to do is probably climb back down and go down this road back to the car, uh, back to Waikolo and meet him back at the car. So. I don't know where he is. I don't know how I could have missed him on the road coming back down. 
so, uh, it's bizarre. He's not answering his phone. So, it's a bit of a mystery, and uh, I'm going to try to solve the mystery now. So, that's it for now. Hey crew, just finished uh, finished our little four hour ride. We had two 45 minute climbs. So we uh, we drove down here to Waikoloa. And we rode up to Waimea. And then we uh, climbed the Kahalas. So we're just checking in with you. Check out the new Never Stop Pump. Thanks, Zoot, for the compression uh, calf socks. Wrote it, uh, we wore them on the right, uh, right today. And the sandals for after training. And our Zoot bottles. Roll Dog should be here any minute. Just got a text from Roll. Said he was heading back in. We got split up up in the Kahalas because the guy's a beast. He likes to hammer the hills. What happened? Hey, you alright? Yeah. We got all confused. Where did you, uh, where did. <coughs> I, I went all the way to Waimea to the Starbucks. What happened was in his eye. You weren't very far ahead of me, I could see you. Right. But then once we took that turn to go, like you either go left to Kahala or right to Waimea, I, I, I lost you, like I couldn't see you up there. Yeah, and I was wondering, I was thinking, Jason might think I'm gonna just I go gonna up go to Kahala. It's like if I was a real man, that's what I would do. You know? Well, so I went into town. But I was already at, I was like right at 45 minutes, right, as that, right at that intersection. Like basically exactly. So I was like, all right, I just need water, like, you know. So I just, I, I didn't, I didn't know how much fur, I knew the town was close. I didn't know how close, and I was like, I'll just stop at the first place I can get water. I went back down, and I went, I went up to Kahala, all the way to mile six. Did you really? Yeah. Wow. So when I came back down, when I saw you, uh -huh. I was done. I was spent. Oh, you were like, that's like, yeah. that's why I yelled at you. I was like, dude, I went to Kahala. And I went all the way down to Kauai High. I didn't know that's what you said, dude, I went to Kahala. I thought you said... Dude, what's your problem? And I said, dude, I went to Kahala. And then by that time, I was like, well, dude, he's going back up to Waimea. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to head back here. And I thought we started at 1230. I wasn't off my bike at all the whole trip. So if we started at 1230, I'd... I got here at 430. And it was freaking so beautiful. I'm like, dude, please be up here. And so I knew you were up there, so I kept going. So I went mile four, mile five. I'm like, he's already at the top, cool. And I was like, you know, I saw some dude off to the side taking pictures. I'm like, there he is. Right. And then I didn't see you, so then it's kind of addicting because then you go around a corner right. and it's like still climbing. And went all the way to... The funny thing about that climb is that it looks worse than it is. Like from the road, you see all those cars driving up there and you're like... It looks like, you know, Alp Duez. Yeah. It looks like it's going to kill you, but it's actually... Dude, that climb right there is harder. Yeah. That was harder. good. I like that climb because it never... It you never don't get 